Welcome to this first look at the new Cantima Portal workflow for Avid Media Composer. With the new Avid integration tool for Portal 1.6, it's possible to send clips from the web browser directly to Media Composer. With the Avid integration application installed, you simply click to select the item menu and choose the Open in Avid MC option. The Cantimo agent on the client system picks up the request from Portal and prompts the user to select an appropriate AMA directory. Normally with AMA, you can use any directory, but in this case it's important I select a specific pre-assigned dynamic media folder or DMF. Because we're using AMA link, the media file does not need to be copied and all that is saved locally is an alias which points to the media file on the shared storage. Inside Media Composer, the Show Dynamic Media Folders indicator changes to notify that there's been an update to the directory. Click the indicator to open the Dynamic Media Folders window and click the green icon to acquire the new clips. The media from Portal is added to the bin. The new clip functions just as you would expect. Double click to load into the source monitor and then there's seamless playback using the JKL keyboard controls. Press I to set an endpoint. Press O to set an out point and B to overwrite the clip into the open sequence. Sending one clip at a time to Media Composer could get a little tiresome. Fortunately, you can send a collection or the contents of your media bin in one action. In this example, we'll create a search in Portal, select all of the results, deselect the clip that's already been opened in Media Composer, click to open the bin, and then drag all of the selected clips to the bin. Click the bin menu, and as before, choose the Open in Avid MC option. Confirm that the appropriate dynamic media folder is selected and click the Open button. The Show Dynamic Media Folders indicator changes once again. Open the DMF window and click the icon to acquire the new clips. In the frame view, they arrive in a bit of a jumble. Rather than sort them out manually, right click and select the Fill Sorted option to get everything organized. Let's quickly select the new clips and drag them to the sequence. Remember as the sequence plays back, these are full res clips playing from the shared storage via AMA link. There's no copying and no conversion. Let's add a quick effect to the V2 track so we can desaturate the entire sequence. When the sequence is ready to send back to Portal, make sure that the timeline is active and select File Export. To export to Portal requires the selection of a predefined watch folder. Click the Save button. The export triggers the Cantimo agent. Metadata can be added to the file as it is being exported from Media Composer. The available metadata is based on your portal account settings and permissions. Fill out the fields as necessary and click the OK button. Click the Start button to begin the upload. Click the Done button once the process is complete. Back in Portal, a refresh of the search page reveals the new item. Click the item to view a preview of the clip. As you can see, the Avid integration in Portal 1.6 is incredibly straightforward and creates opportunities for organizations to extend and enhance an established editorial workflow. You can find out more about Portal at www.cantamo.com.